up guys it's chad here at barry big plums fishing i'm here at my local course fishery where i'm a member i've got my airflow eight slash nine weight and i'm going to try and catch myself some carp on the fly i've only got literally an hour hour and a half because it's quite late i've uh, come here about seven o'clock in the evening uh at the beginning of june after work so let's see what i can get guys i'm going to pre-bait my swim with some dog biscuits and here is my box of floating deer head flies i've got some zig bugs in the top right there and bottom right some various different uh, dog biscuit imitations. I've got some blood worms and indicators there. But uh, let's see if I can get them feeding first and try and get some carp from the top. All right, it's a lovely still evening, guys. So let's uh, go and find myself a swim where I think the carp are going to be. So I've got uh, the swim I normally go to. I'm going to try there first. Luckily, there's not too many course anglers here with baits, so um, I'm not going to disturb them fishing for carp. So it's, um, I do have permission um, from the bailiff, which I've asked him in the previous uh, couple of years I've been joined here. And um, yeah, uh, a lot of course hangers aren't particularly thrilled by the idea, you know, that you're using a flower in their fishery. So the one thing about this sort of fishery is if you look up there, there's absolutely zero back casts. So that is something you do have to deal with because they're not designed for the fly angler. When you go to a commercial trout fishery, the waters are designed, the landscape is designed for you to get that back cast. So let's quickly walk up to my swim. I call it my swim, it's not my swim. But it's a swim which is quite shallow because there's some weeds in it. And uh, sorry, some lily pads which only grow. See, there's a carp on top over there. There's a certain amount of water. If the water's quite low, there they are. See them lily pads? Look at all those carp. There's absolutely loads of carp by that lily pad. So here's the swim that I normally frequent. So let's quickly get myself set up. First things first, get your dog biscuits out. Get a good big handful of dog biscuits out and wait until the carp start rising some days this can be um, a little bit harder than you would think sometimes you just need to go right by the lily pads time I move my bloody fly. See that swim seems to be more active than the swim I'm in now. That's a nice cast actually. There we go. I saw his big lips come up. God, hello mate. <clears throat> saw a big pair of lips come up then. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. Big pair of lips. Oh, yeah. The same with this big heavy rod. Well, it's quite a big carp, actually. This big heavy rod. It does allow you to steer them out. Because look at all this, these trees here, those weeds there, those lilies there. It can be a bit of a pig. Oh, mate steer them away from these obstructions. So even on this eight or nine weight rod, it's got a nice bend in it. This time of year, the carp are very feisty. It's about four pound maybe. Oh, look at that rod. Look at the bend. God, mate. 
get away from those weeds, you son of a... <laughs> there we go. Lovely common carp. All right, let's get my, my net ready. I know this net's big enough because I've had fish up to 12 pound and let trade in it. So it is quite a beefy rod, does make the difference. Oh, yeah. Be a little bit careful these carp because they're very powerful fish. So if they go, you have to let them go. Even these that are about four pound, five pound maybe. Just have to let them go. God, mate, he's woken up. Oh. Okay. See, see my zig bug in his side of his mouth there. God, mate. There we go. Look at that. It's a lovely common. Maybe about four pound. There we go. A zig bug has come out in the net. Look at that. What a lovely, beautiful fish. So, I don't even need to get him out of the water. There we go. Come on. There we go. There you go, straight away. Not even removed from his home. Yeah, that's a big carp. That's a big carp. This one needs to go on the reel quickly. That needs to go on the reel quickly. Put that right in his head then. Oh, oh. oh mate. That's a bigger carp. Oh. Oh, mate. Hold on for dear life. Chad, this is a big fish. I think it's a big one anyway, he had a big head. Hold on for dear life, but that's, he's got a nine weight rod bent double. So I'm assuming he is a big carp. Let's keep the rod low. Get away from them weeds, you sunny Jim. Oh. Go on, mate. That is big. Yeah, that's a big carp. That's a big carp. Oh, mate. Why'd you go fishing for carp on the fly, Chad? Look at that rod, that's why. Ah. That was textbook. Clutch on my reels going. That is a nice carp. And I've got weeds there, trees there, <laughs> lilies over there. Oh, I need to put some power in this fish. Put the rod low. Oh, mate. Eight pound line on, thank God for that. <laughs> He's digging right in them weeds, see him? I can't put any more bend on this rod. <sighs> Trying to keep it low, you don't want to high tip something like this, you will snap your rod. I paid, I paid um, 45 pound for this airflow fly fishing set. It's, it's eight and nine weight. It's a salt water fire rod, so this is like, oh mate, jeez Louise, oh, this is not easy, I paid £45 for this, so if it snaps, I'm not going to cry, 
but just give them plenty of, keep your rod low, put it in your hip down here and hold on for dear bloody life. Oh, that's a bigger carp. Look at the tail on them. Yeah, that's a, that's a lovely fish. That is a lovely, lovely fish. Or you can just bloody hold on. Oh, strap yourself in and hold on. Ooh. This is where you can do that 10 foot rod really. To, that's an even bigger one out there. Look at the size of that one. If I release this fish, I'm going right for him. In fact, in fact, while I'm here, I've smiled these out so you can stay about. Oh, mate, my arm is killing me. My arm is killing me. Why do you go fishing for carp on the fly, Chad? Look at that fly rod. This is exactly why people fish for carp on the fly and it's gaining in popularity. You know, it's so much fun because they're such a bloody strong fish. There we go, in, in the hip again, in the hip. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up, do, 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 do. Hold up. Oh man. I can't do anything with this. Come on. Out there, you son of a. If I was holding this rod up there, I would snap it. Oh, I haven't had a look at the size of this yet. I don't want to. God, look him digging. Right, I'm going to think about getting my net out here, see if I can quickly sneak him in this net. Oh, I might be open a little too quick here. Oh, Jesus. My wrist is actually really, really hurting. Wow. Long, boring day at work, guys. And I can come here for a couple of hours in an evening and enjoy myself. Because I'm not gonna bully this fish because it's too big. Anyone who's done this knows how much they pull. Yeah, my reel's going. I haven't got the best reel with this set, but it does have, the clutch is holding up at the moment. Plenty of frogs I can hear. God, oh, mate. I might have to get a little bit of video with this fish and just see how big it is, or at least a picture. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. This is a nine weight rod, guys. Nine weight rod. Eight slash nine, anyway. I'm actually sweating. This is an epic fight. Even if I lose it now, I've enjoyed this immensely. Come on, I can't even get him up. I legitimately cannot get this fish up. I know some of the carpies use big test rods. Oh, no, 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 no. But, oh, that's a big old carp. That's a big, that is a monstrous fish. Oh, mate. Wow, guys, that is, that's about eight pound. What a monstrous fish. That was absolutely amazing. That is, that's got to be about eight pounds at least. Bare minimum, bare minimum, guys. What a stunning fish. Let's try and get a picture. Wow, what a fight guys, that was absolutely amazing. That fish was at least eight pound, maybe a little bit more. He went and went and went. That is why I come for fly fishing for carp. It's so much fun, man. I can see some, a couple of fish coming up here now. Certainly not to the level they were coming up in other swims. 
Just a mission, a couple of carp. Yeah, these are swamp fish. Cool. A lot of sunlight's bright. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is um, go down to sort of the area I was and maybe pick up one more fish on the way home. Like I said, it was a short session, guys. <clears throat> right, guys. This swim, which is normally very productive, is not showing any movement. I'm going to sting an else. So I'm going to go back and see if I can get one more carp before I go home. That'll take my total to four then. But yeah, you can come get an hour or 90 minutes sport. You know, that's good good fun. You know, I pay £50 a year for this fishery. I can come 365 days a year if I choose to do so. You know, it's good good for the money, even if I just sort of come, um, you know, sort of five or ten times. Just in the summer, in the evening, it's worth £50. You know, where are you going to get this sort of entertainment for £50? You can buy a video game, you can go to the cinema. I can come here 365 days a year if I want to. Granted, carp is not my passion. Trout is my passion, but this is a fun distraction um, from what is my passion. You know, and as everyone knows, when it gets sort of June, July, August, trout fishing becomes incredibly poor, especially in South East Kent where I come from, um, just because there's no there's no spring fed fisheries that fish through the summer, not like Hampshire, where you can still catch fish all the way through the year. It's just one of those things. I think I want to go back to the same swim. I want to go back to the same swim. Catch one more fish. See, I'm splashing the water, but it's so difficult with um, those trees behind me. Oh, there's so many carp out there now. really are clever fish you can see how people get um besotted with catching that specimen carp you really do feel like you're pitting your wits against a fish you know they are not always easily fooled come on come on puppy they come out grab one or two then go back underneath the lilies crunch them up in their throat teeth and then they come back out and have a, a go for some more there's still plenty of offerings out there there's loads there there's loads there Just need to be a little bit patient like like that if I've lost this fly game over I'm going home <laughs> Funny feeling this fly is not going to be rescuable. Oh my life, I got it back. Would you add to believe it? I was about to throw my dummy out of the pram and go home, then, guys, if I lost that. Oh, come on. Come on, there's like two or three carp around that zig bug there. They're going to the right hand side. Oh, see him over there? It's just a, a few more meters out to where I am now. I think as I move it, I'll be spooking them. Oh, you son of a. You do need nerves of steel here, guys. There was about four carp all around the flight. Knew there was a good chance he was going to take that. Ooh. See, see, when you're fighting a powerful fish, I don't like having a line on the floor because you have a habit of standing on it. Well, I certainly do. 
I'm going to get myself a better reel, I think, for this setup. It's a cheap rod, but it's definitely man enough for this. That's yeah, probably the smallest one of the day, but that's fine. I'm quite happy. Uh, I have to get myself a fish. There we go. I might get myself a little airflow um, delta fly reel, something for £30. A nice, quiet spool and clutch system. But um, this has been a lovely evening sport, guys. What have I been here? About an hour and 20 minutes. I've had four fish, including one big one approaching sort of uh, eight to 10 pound. It was at least eight. Really, really thick, big fish. Had a big head on it. You know, uh, a lot of the time with carpets, um, the width opposed to the length. And that was a really big fish. You know, just fighting it here was so much fun. But, you know, I pay 50 pounds a year to fish here. And I can come through the summer, a couple of hours in the evening. So I don't even bait fish here anymore. I used to bait fish here with the quiver tips, a ledger in with uh, luncheon meat and stuff. I just don't have the love for that sort of fishing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've done it as a boy. Um, and it's just not me anymore. It's really not me anymore. Once you, you start fly fishing, I think it's very hard to go back to bait fishing. You know, you can make your sport, whatever. In this winter, I'm going to try and pike fish for as well with a fly. That's going to be my next diversion. And I also wouldn't mind trying a bit of sea fishing for, with, uh, on the fly as well. Maybe with some bass or some mackerel or something. But um, at the moment, this is a, eight, a nine foot um, airflow uh, fly rod, eight to nine weight. And it's uh, basically, it's a set. It's called the Saltwater Predator set. It's used to be £100 but now they're selling it off and you can get it online on eBay for about £45. Comes with a, the rod, this ratchety reel but it's done the job today. Um, comes with a crappy airflow velocity fly line too which I binned straight away because <laughs> it was coily. Um, but I won this Rio Grande fly line on eBay for £17 and it seems to be doing the trick nicely so I think all I need to do get myself a slightly better reel just because the ratchet sound really irritates me oh yeah I could if I stayed here till it's dark I reckon I could get another half a dozen fish probably easily get away from that snag but I'm gonna get home oh have a shower and I'm gonna watch some Fear the Walking Dead because I've just started watching that so I'm a big Walking Dead fan guy and I'm a massive Walking Dead fan so I'm gonna give Fear the Walking Dead a shot I've watched the first Part of the first episode last night. I've got um, all three seasons, so and, I'm, and if I enjoy it, I'll get the the later seasons too. But I give it a go. I've just finished watching Spartacus. Now I'm going to try Fear the Walking Dead. Here we go. Let's bring him in. I think it's a lovely. I've had all commons today. Oh, mate, he's a spirited fish. Now he's looking three to four pound as well. Ugh. I wouldn't recommend anything lower than sort of a seven weight for doing this, guys. I know you get people on YouTube doing it, but I'd probably recommend an eight or nine weight in most course fisheries, especially when people grumble about us doing it. Uh, the bait fishers grumble about us doing it. You know, if you're playing a fish for 35 minutes, it doesn't help our, our cause. See, you don't even need to get the fish out of the water unless it's a big one for a photo. There he goes. He's off. And there you have it, guys. A thoroughly, thoroughly fun session fishing for carp on the fly. There you go, dudes. What a very, very pleasant way to spend an hour and a half after work. Nice and easy sport, hard fighting fish. And, uh, you know, it's available all through the summer when the trout fishing dies off. I highly urge you to give it a go. Uh, check out the rules of your local fishery, because some places don't like you fly fishing for carp. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a fun way to enjoy the hobby for a different species. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This is Chad, very big plums fishing. Take it easy.